Wonderful. Well, we are so happy to have you here with us today because uh, this movie is so much fun. I'm so excited for people to see this uh, next month. And, um, you know, of course, the, the basis of it, uh, you know, you, you never really know someone until you're married to them. And then maybe you don't know them anyway. Right. I'm just... Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's, it's a story about marriage deep down. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, it's a story of a oh, 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 um, suburban mom who has a double life, a double life. Mm -hmm. And uh, and at some point it just blows up in in her face and she has to take care and, and save her family save her couple save save her own life and and solve every reason why she took that path in her in her in her life uh but that's you know if you if you just take the 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 assassin part out of the equation uh it's mm -hmm. everybody's life somehow uh yeah. so uh, you know after seven years in a, in a marriage yeah you find out that people are not completely what you think they are i mean everybody's got secrets that even them don't know about so um yeah. uh so i think this is what makes that film so um compelling because every, everybody can recognize himself in this story and at the same time in a very fun and entertaining way because because of the context because of the planes and guns and running around and and, and, and all that which is great fun yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah, just because you're not finding guns and passports in a box somewhere, you may, but I may find something else. We see a lot of this in the suburbs, but yeah. uh, but you know that. But the thing is, like I said, when I was watching this going in, I was thinking the same exact thing. You take out the assassin part, and and I think a lot of people find something here. But but also that that's got to be something you know for you when you're thinking about the audience, you know, uh, you know, and who you're. Who you're attracting there you, you you know you probably thought a lot about this and probably had these discussions with the stars right yeah we did yeah uh especially with david uh when when we first met on zoom uh like that was i think for him it was key that was mm -hmm. i think this is what this is the answer he was looking for from me like that was the reason that made him go for that story uh me saying you know what it's it's about a couple it's about a family deep down and and every time it's funny you know because every time for instance in during the shoot or during the edit in particular we strayed strained strained away from that uh a little went a little too much for the action a little too much for the comedy it like then we lost the path and we lost the tension and the the um, um the juice of the film yeah. and every time it was like go back to the couple we love them together there's so there's such a chemistry between the two of them mm -hmm. and between david and kaylee they were getting along so well and having so much fun being together on screen mm -hmm. uh, that um that yeah this is this this is the sugar you, you know the sugar hit you get at the beginning mm -hmm. and you want more of it and it's all about yeah it's gonna come back it's gonna come back wait wait hold on <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say because we've been around all those uh, all those guys and David and Kaylee and and Bill like but between all of them, you must have some great stories from the set, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and and Bill is such Bill is such an incredible gentleman. It's amazing. You know, when you get to meet such a famous actor, there's always a part of you that's a little afraid. Like oh, I hope he's got he's not going to be a jerk. Yeah, and you know I hope he's going to be the guy you hope he is, and mm -hmm. and and uh, uh, he is. Bill is absolutely the the perfect gentleman you think he is, and such a an amazing actor. And Katie also is incredible, incredibly mm -hmm. professional. She, she, I've I've never, I don't think I've ever met an actress who knew herself so well, knew what she's good at, where she shouldn't go, where, uh, when it works. I mean, she, uh, she's a clockwork. She's incredible. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's great. Well, and, and now, of course, you know, you've been working on a bunch of things that, that, that people have been looking at the screen and going, okay, that's what I want to do. And, and Reacher is fantastic. And so so now, you know, people are looking at you going, okay, um, this, is, uh, th this is what I want to do. I want to tell a story. So what kind of advice would you give them? Um, oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think... Um, um, Look at characters. Characters are prime, uh, um, and it's the it's the key to storytelling on screen. Um, it, it, they make a good, there are the element which makes a great script, and 
and and and listen to them characters what do they want where do they want to go this is what makes great films i think in the end yeah absolutely and so my co-host uh drew pearson one of our great dallas cowboys one of our nfl greats uh caught the hail mary went in the hall of fame a couple of years ago and of course we all know this hail mary term by now and uh and i don't we love I, that I, I, i'm french i don't know what, what okay good <laughs> that that that's uh i was i was setting up i wasn't sure so so the hail mary you know is just kind of where you just kind of have to throw the ball and just kind of hope hope it all works out and you know you can catch yeah. it and it might be a fumble but but we talk about those hail mary moments and uh and uh i was wondering if there was a moment in your life or career where you just kind of felt like you had to kind of just throw the ball or go for it and it worked out for you oh uh, there's any such moment is like i really started as a european director and yeah. never really thought that i would ever work in the us uh mm -hmm. felt like very distant you know hollywood and uh, when we uh, did Bodyguard, um, uh, so it started, it opened on BBC in the UK. It was really a hit there. And then it was in October, November. Um, it started on, on uh, Netflix. And I was on a weekend with my wife in Brussels. With, I'm very, coming back from, diner, from, from a dinner with friends. And then suddenly on my iPhone, like I looked at my iPhone, I, you know, going back to the hotel, and I had like six emails from agents <laughs> and producers in Hollywood. And I showed it to my wife, like, like well, something is happening here. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think there had been a Hail Mary uh, yes. when a uh, uh, bodyguard. Uh, yes. That's when I found out that, yeah, actually, I, uh, yeah, that's cool. Uh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> that's great now um it, of course you know part of that is kind of keeping that singular focus and and you know determination and maybe if it's in the stubbornness you know to kind of keep going and uh what is it that you always keep in mind that keeps you on the right path even when things are tough um, the worst thing that could ever happen to me as a director is getting bored on set on set uh um it can come uh because you know it's there's something repetitious in filming it's always the same kind of issues you run into and so on uh and the one thing that keeps me going is always to find joy in every day on set always to push the limit far enough because that's where that's when it becomes really fun and 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 to get i think the, the my everyday um, Hail Mary on set is when I get a great performance. Mm -hmm. When I get that feeling, like I'm watching, I'm the first one to watch someone doing an actor doing something incredible, and 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 that's that's worth everything, every hardship, every disappointment, every whatever, everything that always goes wrong, uh, and, and and that makes me really happy. I uh, love that. You know, uh, it, and, and, you know, having that front row seat, I'm, I'm curious to know, like, what, what your, um, what the memory is that you'll always hold about this. That was a certain day, scene or time that will always stand out to you as like, oh, this is, this is going to be special. People are going to love this. When I moved, uh, at some point, I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely moved by, by, by mm -hmm. what I see, whether it makes me laugh, like, when, for instance, in that uh, uh, interrogation scene with David, yeah. and mm -hmm. when he came up, we had done a few takes, and then um, I, it felt like we were there, and it was really good, and <laughs> I just wanted to tweak a few details, and then it felt like, I think he knew that it was going to be the last take, and, and then he did that thing of bursting to laugh, yeah. out of, like, I don't believe what's happening to me, yeah. And um, and that was like, for instance, that was incredible. The whole, hmm. like, the whole set felt. Oh, what has he been doing? Uh, yeah. That was, and, and when you watch the film, it's a great moment. Uh, oh yeah, that anyone can deny that. And there are there are uh, quite a lot of things actually. Yeah, there really are, and that that was a great moment because I was thinking that's what I would do too. <laughs> it's <laughs> like you got to be kidding. But yeah, that made it more human and more real. And, and yeah. so uh, we really, really enjoyed this film and I uh, really appreciate your time today and look forward to talking to you again soon. With pleasure. Thank you. Okay.